Hey guys, today's video is going to be for you if you have a big penis. Yes, we are going to share with you five... Hey, what up, bae? Everyone get your cringe armor on and make sure it's fitted with early 2000s era plating. I'm convinced what I'm about to show you is why nobody takes gamers seriously. We're talking about the ultimate gamer reality show. So the premise of the show is to figure out who's the most totally rad, most epic Mountain Dew snorting, G Fuel butt chugging gamer. The nation's most talented gamers were put to the test. Came out on top. Now each one is here to prove they're the best. We can play all day, you'll never beat me. We can play all day, you'll never beat me, bro. They'll live together and push each other to the breaking point. What breaking point? What possible drama can a bunch of nerds in a house playing video games cause? Yo, put and it this you way. You suck at modern warfare. How about that? You blow. It's that simple. You're not good. All right? You want me to raise my voice? Say what you want. Stop being a bitch. Say what you want. You pride yourself on letting a fucking helicopter get 90% of your fucking kills. Then you get a fucking nuke, all you got to do is flip a fucking switch, and you kill 25 people on the map. You pride yourself in that? Fuck that. That's Oh. There's a misconception about gamers. And there's a stereotype that guy that's locked in his basement still lives with his mom. The stereotype door is about to be blown off the hinges. I'm 90% sure that stereotype door is about to be reinforced, deadbolted, and sealed shut. I'm here because of my daughter. She's the reason why I've tried so hard to be a good gamer. What? Because of your daughter? Your daughter really cares if you're good at video games? Mom, I hate you. You fucking suck at video games. You better go on a reality show and get good at video games or I'll never love you. You lowlife, worthless, good for nothing, sorry, sad sack piece of But I really want a female to be crowned the world's best gamer. I think that would be huge for female gaming. I am going to win this competition. All right, I'm not trying to judge a book by its cover. But this lady looks like my 7th grade health teacher who used to teach us about wieners and made her own clothes out of shower curtains. My name is Dante, a.k.a. Devil's Owl Star. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy is going to win. He's super edgy. His gamer tag is Devil's Owl Star. I don't even need to hear what else he has to say. This guy is obviously going to win this. I'm really worried about is Robert because he is considered a pro in many fields whether it be racing fighting shooting Whatever. He's the biggest threat in the entire house My gamer tag is Prodigy X. I am the best gamer That's a definite. I take back everything I said about Devil's Alistar. Fucking Evanescence is gonna take this win. No doubt Do you know someone? The only one I know is CJ Dante is someone I have history with. Somebody I work with. It's kind of tough seeing him here, and I still have a crush on him. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Lady, you're crying over someone who looks like he's straight out of Devil May Cry. Get your shit together, all right? Come on, CG. Come on. Take a drink every time she cries. <coughs> Welcome to WCG Ultimate Gamer. I'm your host, Hannah Simone, and this is gamer extraordinaire, Joel Gordon. What's up, guys? This is gamer extraordinaire, Joel Gordon. What's up, guys? What's going on, gamers? Your new loft is waiting, but don't settle in. Your first real-life challenge will begin soon. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Hey, uh 
typically in reality shows like this, they'll take all these contestants and they'll put them in this huge mansion with pools and hot tubs and like 20 grand pianos. These nerds got the shit end of that stick. These contestants got a house that looks like a college kid's dorm who hasn't hit puberty yet. It's fully equipped with those rocking gaming chairs that your parents would buy you and the speakers on the sides would go out like the first day. I could get used to this. Is somebody gonna tell her lazy boys exist and she doesn't have to sit in a chair meant for seven year olds? They take these socially awkward young adults and make them do real life versions of the games they play. They make them dance on stage in front of a nightclub of real people in place of playing Dance Dance Revolution. Butterfly, just goof around. In this episode specifically, the game is Rock Band. And obviously the real version of that is playing instruments in real life. None of them can play a real guitar. None of them know how to sing. So they say, hey, take an hour to learn instruments and learn how to sing and then go hit the stage in front of a crowd of people that we paid to be there because nobody would come otherwise. So if you hit both strings, you should hear this. I feel so bad for the guys that have to teach them how to play these instruments in like under an hour. So if you hit both strings, it's gonna play the guitar. They shove them in these rooms that look like storage lockers and they have to practice the skills they learned 10 minutes ago before they hit the stage. Hey guys. Now, I'm sure you guys are ready to impress these guys. How much do you think they paid the crowd to watch three bands who've never played an instrument before all play the same song for at least an hour? You could not pay me enough. <laughs> Whatever you're doing right now, okay? Make sure you're sitting down. You've got a full stomach. This is not easy to watch. I'm giving you a fair warning. Let's get together. We never plan pretty fucking bad my guy i love the shots of the crowd they don't show many of the shots because the crowd is just standing there not doing anything just they're trying you know i wouldn't do any better what who am i who am i to sit here and criticize them i couldn't do any better than that you know what get it devil may cry get it They get back from embarrassing themselves on stage and some house drama starts to brew and it's fucking stupid. What do you think about the whole elimination thing? The best player could get out the first round. Exactly. I'm thinking of creating an alliance. People I can trust. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we create an alliance of gamers. Some of them try to start flirting and it's kind of awkward to watch. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. Oh, my Chicago. oh my god, you sound so stupid with that accent. Oh. Apparently my husband and I are separated. We're just kind of trying to figure out like what we want. I usually hide my Chicago accent. You should also hide your face though, but I mean there's no Hey, hide your face. You're pretty ugly. <laughs> I like talking to Jeff because I've never stopped laughing around him. And I love being around someone who can constantly put a smile on my face. Sounds like a tall order for you, Kelly. I need someone to constantly make me laugh and put a smile on my face at all times. Uh, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Gather around right over here, guys. Gather around. Your first isolation challenge. Now it's time for them to play the actual video game. Finally. They're up all night, vigorously practicing for the day tomorrow when they all play in a rock band together. A fake rock band. Thank God. Welcome to this week's isolation challenge for Rock Band 2. 
You will be ranked by your band's performance, but you will also be ranked by your individual performance within your band. At the end of the isolation challenge, we will add today's rankings to yesterday's real life rankings. The person in last place will be headed to the elimination challenge where they will fight to stay alive. Red Band, you're up first. Please step into the isolation chamber. Now the isolation chamber is even dumber than it sounds. I don't know why it's called the isolation chamber. It just looks like where Batman would shoot porn or something. It's like a tacky Batman layer. Cool. That is quite the TV. Oh, sweet. TV is huge. I've never seen a TV that big in my life. You guys ready to rock it? You guys ready? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Look at that fist bump. That's a diversity fist bump right there. Look at that. Asian, black, white. All racism was ended after the words. You guys ready to rock it? You guys ready? Jesus, guys. JD singing was an experience I will never forget. It's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. <laughs> this guy's trying his hardest, you know. I gotta give it to him. <laughs> I can't do any better, but that's still bad the real life rankings to the isolation rankings the player in last place who is up for elimination is robert evanescence he's getting kicked out this is rigged that's bullshit he's the ultimate gamer did you not hear him oh robert is up for elimination we're here to find out who we'll face up against in the Elimination Challenge. Smoozy, you are ranked in first place after the Real Life and Isolation Challenges, which means you've earned the right to determine who Robert faces off against. You can really tell how unimportant this show was by how large and obtrusive the ads are on this show. This one's taken up like half the screen, and it's like at one of the most important parts of the episode. Just put that anywhere, Bob. Put that ad right in the middle of the episode, right the most important part. Make it take up half the screen. Nobody's watching this shit. Swoozy comes in first. He's got to pick somebody to go against Rob in the final battle to battle out in Rock Band to see who gets to stay. And he picks JD. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's he's not very good and Rob's a pro gamer. They should have picked CG, I guess, because she's like nationally ranked in this shit. To kick right. You guys don't care. <laughs> Everyone else in the house, I think that I had played Rock Band the least by many, many, many hours. And I figured, you know, the smart move, the, the good move would be to put the best guitar player in against Robert. Fine, Swoozy. Just proves that you got no balls. You got no balls, Swooz. It's a big threat to everybody, Almost. even me. The fact that he chose JD instead of CG was ridiculous. Rob is my friend. If I can help him, I'll, I will. It's so dramatic. <laughs> it's so dramatic, and all they're going to do is play rock band tomorrow. It's so funny. I've got to run on the treadmill a couple miles. I got to hit the speed bag. I got to be ready to go to play rock band tomorrow. I got to work hard. So it's time for the final battle. It's the battle of the slightly out of shape socially awkward middle-aged men with plastic guitars i'm a little worried i'm gonna get copyrighted for this song so i'm gonna play what it actually sounds like when people play rock band spoiler alert evanescence wins i've hated on this show a lot but it really does take me back to a simpler time. It reminds me of when I was a young boy playing Guitar Hero or playing Halo 3 with the boys and sipping Mountain Dew until 3 a.m. in our gaming rocking chairs or getting yelled at in a Call of Duty lobby by a nine-year-old who fucked my mom. But these are grown-ass men and grown-ass men should not be playing video games. Thank you guys so much for watching. And coming back for another video if you like what you guys saw please consider liking and subscribing to my channel uh, it really help out with the algorithm and uh, recommend my videos i'm live on twitch at twitch.tv slash long live spoons we're not playing rock band but we're playing other cool video games so come on down 
and be a gamer with me. We'll butt chug some G Fuel on stream. All right, gamers, thanks for sticking around and watching till the end. I really appreciate it. You guys take it easy. Peace. Mm.